So welcome back. It's Valerie with JNS Hobbies and Crafts, and we are on part two of the free step-by-step -step tutorial using Penny's Paper Doll Family Paper. And let's get started. This is what you should have. Now, we don't want to forget to put our piece for our brad. So in your uh, chipboard, I want you to locate this little piece. It has a little hole perfectly. Now the brads, we're also going to get out an antique brad from our Tim Holtz brads. So let's get out one of our antique ones. So we're going to have to be a little bit creative. Um, something that's kind of frustrating is that the holes in our little chipboards, the brads just fall right through them. And it's not going to stay on for us to make it into a hinge. So um, I'm going to fix this in a little bit. But for right now, just set it aside. Go into your um, dot pile, and you should have a piece of black that it looks like this. We're going to cut this in half. I've made some little marks. It's one and five eighths across. And also in your reserve, you should have this little green piece. Take the, your long skinny piece of black. Take one of these, okay? We're gonna make it the exact same length so we don't mess up. So cut that off and then cut it directly in half, okay? So just measure, cut off your whip measurement and then split this completely in half. I'll be right back and show you mine. This is what I cut off the end. I'm going to toss that into my little pile. In fact, just set that aside. We're going to use that that little piece that you just cut. Just set it aside with your um, your hinge and your brad. So make sure that these, setting my doors aside for a moment, make sure that these match the length of your piece of tan paper, and it does. Okay, so I'll leave that there for a second. The green piece I had you pull out, once again, we're going to measure it and cut it off and cut it in half, okay? So go ahead and cut this piece off first and then measure right down the middle. I'll bet you it's an inch. Oh, look at that. So measure down the middle and cut this in half exactly the same way. This little piece that I just cut off, I just set it aside for a moment. Your two pieces of black, set your green and your tans aside for a second. Take your two pieces of black them lengthwise and we're going to punch all the way along the edge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and punch both of these and I'll be right back. Okay, I have both of those cut. Just set them aside for a moment. Get your two green pieces out and do the same thing. I want you to punch along the long side and if you keep this punch right up against the edge, these will match. That's why you want to do that. So this one, I want you to notice that I started right at the edge. Do exactly the same thing with your green ones and they will match all the way down. That's really important. So you start with it right at the edge and start punching. When we line these up, the black behind the green, they're going to match. These are where I cut this down the middle and they match. So I'm gonna leave, this is the inside and this is the inside. So I'm just gonna turn we're going to put the green on top of the black and we're going to try to leave the exact same border that we left on here to match. So it looks like it's about maybe 3 16 away. You can see. Okay, so put glue right along the back. Not very far in, maybe a quarter of an inch in-ish. Lay your green on top with your black distance. Make sure they match up. Same with the other one. And I'm going to put this one on next to that one so that it matches. Just matching these up. Can you see that? So that they're the same distance. There we go. So I want you to set these two green ones aside and your other left door. And we're not gluing this down yet, but I want to be able to put measuring my border all the way around. All right, we are going to be putting this right on the door. Okay. So this hinge is going to go on to this side of the door. I'm going to call the middle of this flower the center of this. I'll bet you it is. So we're going to make sure your borders stay all the way around. Let me go back. 
So your borders down here, match your borders up here, match your left, your flowers are out the center, and you're going to make a circle right inside there where the, where the hole is going to go. Set that aside. Now I want you to turn your little chipboard over, the little green piece I had you set aside, the little black piece you had set aside. We're going to take and measure and cut this little piece of green paper to go on the back side of the chip. Okay, so I got my little lines. I'm going to throw that away. Remeasure so that none of it sticks over. Now, this side is going to be attached to the door, so and it's also where the hole is. So what the other piece I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this black piece on first, right there. This is going to help with my brad so that it doesn't go through. So take this little teeny piece of black that we had. I apologize about the guys next door. It's going to have glue through it. That's all right. Push it down. Push it down. Don't worry about the glue. Now take the green piece that we just cut. It goes on the other end. So that way when, the bright, when this and you turn it over, you're going to have this pretty color. Because when the door's open, you're going to see the back of this. All right, so make a little hole. Don't make your hole too big for your brad. Just make it big enough for the brad to go through it. Okay, put your brad through. See? This piece. So now, don't make the hole too big. Just enough to put your brad in. I'm putting it through the place where I made the hole. Take my brad things through there. Now we're going to put a little bit extra security on the back of this. Put a little bit of score tape on the back of that brad. Oh, I'm going to put glue and then I will take off my score tape. So I am on my right door, the one that says brad. Make sure that your hinge is on the right and it's folded down. Put your glue. Now make sure this goes to the far left with your even borders, top left and bottom. That's your right door, your right. Okay. Grab one of your green and black trims and glue along the back of it. Edge. Goes flush at the top with the tan piece, leaving the same border at the back that you left all the way around. Do not glue over your hinge. See? Go grab the other one, turning it over. Glue, far right edge, same border. Go ahead and get your other piece with your green and your black and do the same thing that you did on the other side. Put some glue on it and it goes over here on the far left, leaving the same exact border that you did all the way around. All right, so hold it down. I'm just gonna make some little lines here and here. Those little lines are just going to help me to know where I'm going to put magnets and stickers. So get out a couple of magnets. I'm going to get out my sticker thing. On your sticker sheet, I would like for you to get another one of these little circles. And then grab the little lamb with the same little matching. We are going to put, turn this over straight, put a magnet right on the back. I'm going to set the circle one aside for just a second. Okay, so put your magnet in the center of your sticker, and we'll stick it right back here. I'm just using the back of my craft knife and pressing on all of the adhesive around the magnet. Just don't press too hard that where you break your sticker. Okay, so I got my little sticker on that side. Find the magnet match. Now we're going to put a little tiny bit of score tape. Just an itty bitty like I always did before so that we can find its spot to anything. So I got a little piece of score tape on there. Make sure it stays straight. Do not make sure your doors are straight at the top and the bottom. Make sure that your hinge is straight. Press it down. Take your little round sticker with the flowers. Put it right over the top. Once again, 
This one's going to be really tight, but I'm just taking the back of my craft knife and carefully going around to get rid of the pencil lines that I made. All right, let's turn these over. Hinges up, get your back pieces that we made. So let me make sure we're going the right. So this is, this is gonna be the left where Penny's hat box is. This is gonna be the other side. I'm gonna take the clothes out for just a second before I glue everything down. Take the clothes out, take the Penny's hat envelope off. All right, so we're going to get the glue. Glue the back of this. Okay, glue this down. Do not go over your hinge, your right hinge. Make sure you have the same border all the way around. Make sure it's down nice and snug. And that little, to the other side the same way. Make sure you stay away from the hinge on the right hand side. Do not go over any of your hinges. I'm gonna leave the clothes out for right now. All right, so let's get out our back piece. This is your right door with your hinge. If you wanna push your hinge out of the way for a moment, you can. This is your left door. I want you to make sure that your scores are on top, no scores on the bottom. Scores on the top, no scores on the bottom. I'm gonna set this one aside for just a second. Take your left door, butt it right up against the left side. All scores are in the front. Push it, pinch, turn it over. If it moves, start over again, please, and glue it down. Bring it back over. Push your fold back and your door should be even. Other side, scores to the front. Push it up against. Make sure it's even on both ends, even in the middle. I'm more concerned that you're even in the middle. Otherwise it will look really weird, okay? So keep it up against the back. Pinch. If it moves, start over. Glue back over. Push your spines back. Now I know it looks like I have a big old gap, but once I get all my Penny's clothes back in, so put Penny's clothes in over here. Penny's hat box. Penny's clothes over here. All right. So, open up your page. So I want you to get out a couple of your Tim Holtz hangers. And I took out one of Penny's dresses and I just attached the hanger right to the top of it. I like this little blue one because it matches. And I'm just going to stick it right underneath it there with the little hanger on it. Um, you could stick a card in there later too if you want to. And then I'm going to... Uh, Penny's clothes, they go too deep inside of here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the hanger, put it on the top of one of her little pieces of clothing. Try not to... Uh, bend up her clothes. Now they'll stick together, okay? So once the hanger's on one of them, the other one will stick to it because of the magnet. I put the hanger and then I put another piece of clothing over the top of it. So it looks like it's hanging on the hanger. I'm going to take my magnet. I'm going to put it in the center of one of my little stickers that I got off my sticker sheet exactly like I did here. Set your sticker aside for just a second. Bring one of your dresses up. Match your magnet. Get a little teeny piece of score tape, put it on the back, just like we did before. Okay, I'm just going to put these together so that I know my hanger is at. Let me zoom in so you can see. So I want it to kind of look like it's hanging in here. So I've got my magnet on the back of this one. Tap, tap, tap. See, there it is. So put these two dresses back together for a moment. Go get your little sticker that you got off your sticker sheet just like we did before and put your sticker right over the top. I'm just making sure it's pressed down all along the edges. I'm using the back of my craft knife. There. Penny's Closet. Now you have plenty of room for pictures in here, pictures over here, and when you close Penny's Closet and then put it together, let's get score tape on the back. This is how I put my score tape on. Make sure it's down nice and tight. And uh, then we're going to peel the backing off of it and get your album out. And we can go ahead and put page one in. All right, I'm getting the rest of the score tape off the back of my... Remember earlier I told you that we have to wait to put page one in um, before we can put in the backs of these, which are still... Um, I'm going to leave the other one 
Penny's still hanging out over here. All right, so turn this over carefully. Make sure that it is the right direction, okay, that your hinge is on the right. You're going to place this inside. This makes it easier for me to see. If you have something that you can use, it does make it easier to see all the way around. Make sure you place this as close to the left edge as you can because this is a very bulky piece and it is going to be really thick in the front. So I'm placing it on with the same borders. I'm keeping it really close to my edge. This is going to fit pretty flush across the back, so be real careful. Just make sure you don't go over your fold. Okay, same distance top and bottom. So now we can take the backing off of this one. This is the back front right. So now you want to do not set it down until you measure straight across, even the same distance. See that? Across this way. Push this one down. Got your clasp under there, so it's causing you a little havoc. So, there you go. So you can open up Penny's closet, I'm gonna put her clothes back in, her hat box back in. I love how the little hangers, now if you wanna put another little hanger on Penny's clothes over here, you can. Um, this, since this is in the pocket, let's move on. So I want you to get this out of your reserve, and we are going to cut it to be the back of page two. So it is six inches now, so you just need to turn this way, measure over eight inches, and cut. This is what you should have. Let's go ahead and just set this piece aside for right now, and you're going to get out a piece of your cardstock from your reserve. This is five by eight and a half. Set it here for a moment. Then you go, go ahead and push this aside. Put that there. Also in your reserve, you should have this piece. We got the paper dolls on it. I would like for you to cut the paper dolls out. And you can go ahead, since there's a little tiny piece of cream on the one side, and it just decided to start pouring outside, I'm gonna leave the same little cream all the way around. It is a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to measure a sixteenth inch of an inch on the cream all the way around, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. Once again, leaving a sixteenth of an inch. So, I'm gonna get this little border that I have right here. If yours doesn't have the border, don't worry about it. Cut it right up against, but the way that I cut this out, I have a perfect little cream border. I'm gonna just match that border all the way around. I'll be right back. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's coming down hard. All right, so this is what I cut off. I got these two little pieces that are gonna go in my teeny reserve pile. I got this one that I'm going to just set aside for a moment. Too much set aside, huh? So this is the piece that I cut out. See my little cream border? And once again, if you cut too close to the red, cut it off. It's okay. So we are going to measure this to fit so that we have a hinge on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna give my little 16th of an inch border. Let me zoom in. All right, so I'm getting my border all the way around. And I'm gonna go this way. So I got the same border on the top as I do the left. I'm taking my pencil, measuring up the same distance for the same border up here. And I'm gonna slice this off. Okay, so this is what we got. Put the small piece in your reserve. Put this piece back down. Make sure it matches all the way around. Man, I have tiny borders. Get your pencil on the right-hand side. Let me zoom, zoom, zoom. And make a little mark where you're going to score. Okay, so that's the first score, and the second score we'll put just to the right of that. So let's get our scoreboard out. Just set your little piece aside for a moment with your back. Put this on your scoreboard. I want you to line that score line that you made right up to any line, any score line. Doesn't matter, you just want to score right on that little mark. Move one eighth to the right. Oop. And score again. Sorry, I have a little boo-boo. So you have you scored right on your line down and then moved one eighth to the right and scored on that line. Let's go ahead and fold. Okay, we got everything scored. All right, hinge on the right, facing down. Take your little piece that we just cut. Once again, make sure it fits on there. And it, it, indeed it does. Let's get some glue. 
place it down. Now, if it makes it easier, I put all my hinge in all my folds to the very back. So you can see, I'm going to place this with the same even border all the way around. So we're going to turn this over. We're in the back. This piece is so close to fitting. This is the back. I just flipped it over that I am just going to take those little pieces that we cut off earlier. These little pieces. I just want you to cut on this piece. I want you to notice it has a little extra red at the top and this one doesn't. Cut this one the same. So cut just a cut this red off the top, but don't cut off your little yellow lines. Be right back. I uh, chose to use my scissors. There is no way I would have got that in there and got that straight on my cutter. Um, so I'm going to keep this little tiny piece. I'm going to take this corner that's going to get cut off anyway. I'm going to place it right against this so that it makes a little corner and I'm going to cut it off the same width as the small piece that doesn't have the corner. Okay, so just cut right along that. So there's my little corner. There's a little circle right there. I'm going to match this corner to that circle and the lines and I'm going to glue it down. So I'm just going to put a little glue there. Put this little piece of corner right on there. You can hardly even tell. So take this one and glue it down. Make sure it goes to the far right with your borders the same all the way around. Okay, so I glued this down and got it over here to the edge. Now I'm gonna take this one, put a little bit of glue. See, because I had to push this out to this edge. And then this one, in fact, I'm gonna take it underneath of it so it matches. Sure, you got the same border. Way around, put a little bit of glue under that corner. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little teeny piece that's extending over off. Now that is not getting glued down yet, but it's gonna go right there. And we are going to make a pocket for this. In your reserve, you should have this little piece that we cut off a few minutes ago. So get out your open scallop out. I want you to punch right along the top of this piece. All right, so at the bottom of this, we're going to put a piece of score tape. Don't go over the edges. Score tape on tight. Backing off of your score tape. Pocket bulge all the way to the bottom, evenly on both sides. Fold it over, glue it down. And this is going to go down here, but we need to put our uh, cover on the front of this. So, the piece I had you set aside, I want you to go ahead and cut right between the two little stamps at the top and the little sisters thing at the bottom. Go ahead and set this aside. We're going to measure this to fit on here. Now, I want the two stamps to go in here evenly. So it looks like we might have to cut off just a tiny bit. So I'm going to measure over here to take my little sixteenth of an inch border. Measure over here. So I'm going to just cut down a little bit off of this side and a little bit off of this side. Be right back. This is what I cut off. The other piece was so small I couldn't even keep it if I wanted to. I am going to keep that little piece. You never know. I've told you this before. Now refit this to be on here. I've got a little tiny border all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I barely have a border on the left and the right, but I couldn't come up, could not cut those little stamps off. It fit perfectly. All right, we have another pocket. Bring this back over. This is the piece that has this on the other side. Flip it over, make sure that your hinges are on the left-hand side facing up. Take this piece and put glue on it. And before you glue it down, I need a magnet right there. So I'm going to put a magnet down. Sorry, I almost forgot. Magnet down there. Pull a tape off the back. Almost forgot. Okay, now you can glue it down. Keep your edges all the same. Do not put your paper over your hinges. Make sure they're all there. Okay, so we have the other half of our magnet out. This is going to be going right along the edge of here. So I'm not going to glue it down yet, but I want to place my magnet. Make sure your hinges are all the way to the back. Just place it evenly. Find your magnet, friend. We are not gluing it down. We're just putting our magnet on the back so we don't forget. Okay. 
So when we go to put this on later, you'll have a magnet. Go ahead and set this aside for a moment. I want you to get out a new piece of cardstock. We're just gonna set our page aside for just a moment. Portrait, I want you to measure over three and three quarter inches and cut. Put the larger piece in your stock pile. Go ahead and turn this this way. Measure 10 inches and cut. Put the smaller piece in your stock pile. Turn this this way. You're gonna get out your open scallop and just punch all along the edge. I made this a little thicker than I wanted. I want you to measure in one and a half inches and cut off one and a half inches off the back of this. Um, for some reason, I was thinking I was making a hinge. So measure in one and a half inches and slice it off. We'll just put that in our stockpile. Go ahead and put this long piece in your stockpile. We'll use it later on. And we're gonna take this piece and this is gonna become a side pocket. So I need you to put a piece of score tape right along the bottom, or left hand side. I apologize, it's bottom when it's looking at me like this. Make sure it's on nice and tight. Not going over the edges. Take off the backing. Oh, sorry, fumble. Take your pocket, put it on evenly. Looks like I've got two and a half circles. Turn it over, glue it down. In your reserve, we should have this. So we're gonna measure this piece to fit on here. And first thing I want you to do is that I want you to cut, let me get something, right along this cream line right here, right next to the blue. So cut right down the right hand side of these stamps. I'll show you mine, I'll be right back. This is what I cut off, so you can see the little cream line. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my reserve pile. Now, we're gonna have to measure this. So I want you to notice I'm gonna keep these three stamps as close as I can to the center. So take your pencil, we're going to cut right there. We're gonna cut right there. Okay, so I made my two little pencil marks. I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna cut this off and I'll be right back. This is what I cut off. I'm gonna go ahead and put these up in my reserve pile. Double check, let's see how this fits. I have one last cut to make, and that's gonna be on the back half, right here. So now I'm going to cut this little blue strip off. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what I cut off. One more time, I want you to make sure you measure this. You have the same borders all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little strip in my reserve and put glue on the back of this we go. Okay, so we're gonna put this on now. Folds to the front, make sure it's in the right spot. Turn it over, don't let it move, and glue it down. Turn it back over, push it back on its spine. Let's go ahead and turn this over and put score tape on the back and get it ready to put in our album. Frame all the way around, along down the center, two shorts on each side. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. I'm also gonna take the magnet backing off the magnet one as well. Get your album out after you get the backing off of your score tape, and we'll put page two in. Okay, let's get our album out. Open up, put this in. Do not go over your spine fold over here. Now these pages might be a little bit tighter than normal, so I'm not gonna have big borders. I'm gonna get it right up against the edge here. These pages are a little bit tighter than I wanted them. Make sure this is down nice and snug. Try not to squish Penny's closet in the background. So make sure it's down nice and snug. And that is page two. There we go. Moving on now to page three. All right, so we are going to do a couple different things. I want you to locate this page out of your paper pad and on the other side it looks like this and the duplicate one. So you're getting two of these out. Set the one with, with Emily and Mom on the side for just a second. Cut your tab off the top of this and come right back. On this page, I want you to measure over five and three quarters and cut. This is what you should have. Set the uh, larger one to the side. Take this piece, turn it this way, measure eight inches and cut. This is what you should have. Put this piece in your reserve. 
and this is going to be the back of page three. So we can just set this aside for just a moment and pull out the piece that I just had you also get. Um, we are going to cut around everything on this page just like we did with Penny, only this time please keep all the tabs on all the clothing. So go ahead and cut around mom and her clothes and P Emily and her clothes and hats and mom's hats. Try to save um, this piece right here that says mother and this piece that says um, little sister Emily. And also we're going to try to save, or we are going to save this piece. You probably will not be able to save this card, at least not the entire edges of it because we have little animals. But try not to cut into the cream part of this card, okay? So we can save that. So we're gonna cut, keep as much of this cream edge around this card as possible and just cut it right off this edge too. So let's cut around all these pieces. I'll show you mine and I'll be right back. Okay, so Emily has three outfits and three hats and Emily. And then I got Emily's name and mom's up here. Mom has two outfits and two hats and I'm gonna put her together. These are the little animals and the bear and the flowers and there's also this little Looks like a little pit set of letters. I'm gonna put those together and then just set these aside for now in a little pile. Set the mother and Emily's names aside in that same little pile. We're going to keep mom together for now. Just, I'm gonna put a clip on her, all of her stuff. We are going to be cutting her out, but just not for right now and set her aside. I want you to fussy cut around this buggy and all of Emily's clothes, hats, and Emily, okay? And then those other two things that were on the page, this is the card, and then these little stamps. Just go ahead and put these up in your reserve pile for now. And let's get these cut out. All right, everything is cut out. We are going to back it again, just like we did Penny. And this is the 11 by four and three quarters, approximately, piece of stock that was in my stockpile. Okay, so let's glue them all down and go ahead and cut around them. I'm not going to be leaving any black borders. Um, just FYI, you probably could have put these on the black before you cut them out, but um, I just like to have them that way, I guess. So let's go ahead and glue these down and cut around them and back them. And as you can see, I did leave the tabs on all the clothes. These glued down and we'll cut around these and you don't need to watch me glue them down or cut them out. I'll be back. I will finish up and show you mine when I'm done. Okay. All right, I had a little tiny piece that um, I cut off. You may or may not have this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my stockpile just because. Um, so set this little, the buggy aside for just a second. Here's Emily. Now I also want to make sure that you cut the openings on the dots for the hats. Okay, do not go heavy handed. All I want you to do is just lightly go along the edges just to keep them consistent because I noticed that as I cut, sometimes I have a little black edge that stayed, sometimes I didn't, and but I don't wanna turn her all black, just little light black right along, kinda of like a black seam. Okay, so I'm gonna do this to all of my clothing and the hats, and we'll come right back. So we're gonna score the tabs on her clothes. Her hats have the holes in them already. Now this is gonna be kind of weird, but I just wanna, I'm gonna put my lines diagonal to one of my scores, and I happen to use the one that I put the line on um, for this kind of purpose. So I just wanna score right on the little area, right between the white, you can see I'm lining it up and I'm scoring right on the end of the tab. It's just gonna make it a little easier for us to fold it. So fold your little tab, fold your little tab, fold your little tab. And you can see now that we can put up any, or I'm sorry, Emily's clothes on her with the tabs. I mean, I'm sorry. So I folded my little tabs over and see, 
Emily has her little dress coat on. You don't want to overextend the tabs too much because if you do, then you're going to break them off eventually. So, can fold those ones over. We'll be adding Emily and her clothing and hats to page three. For right now, I'm going to put her together with a paper clip, just set her aside with mom and all the other things. So get out your green page that we cut earlier and uh, your buggy. We are going to place our little buggy right down here and we're only going to put glue in a few places because we want it to be able to, and I'm just using this as a reference, we want to be able to put pictures behind it. So you don't want to put glue too far down. So just turn it over, get your glue, put it at the bottom of right in the wheels, okay? And then I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit right here. All right, so it's right here and on the wheels. I'm gonna tuck it in the bottom left corner, and when that dries, you will still be able to put stuff behind it. See that? In your chipboard, you should find two of these little circles that have these little daisies on them and the green that matches. I'm gonna put them right over the wheels. And they do have a direction. My idea of the direction is this direction. So I'm going to put them right in the center, each wheel, just for a little decor. Go ahead and get out your two and an eighth inch white Venice lace, and we're going to trim a piece right across the top here. All right, so a little bit of glue on the back of my lace, right across the top. Sorry for all the little yuckies. Now I want to leave this open at the bottom, that way if you want to, you can slip a picture up underneath of it, or on top of it, but um, I just kind of like the idea of being able to slip things underneath. So these little edges right here, now that I have it glued down, I know exactly what I want to cut off. Don't cut your paper. Got that little piece cut off. And it should pretty much be exactly the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to let that dry. So let's get out a new piece of cardstock. I want you to keep it at the landscape and measure over six and three quarters and cut. Put your smaller piece in your stockpile. Measure, turn this way, measure eight inches and cut. Put this in your stockpile. I'm gonna make some marks. I made mine, but I'm gonna show you where I made mine. First mark is going to be at 13 sixteenths, and the other one is going to be at one inch. So 13 sixteenths is three marks back, one, two, three, from the one inch mark. So it's right here. Let's get our scoreboard out. So the one inch mark is obvious. Put it right up against there. And then I'm going to move my 13 sixteenths to any score line just to line it up. And then I'm going to score my 13 sixteenths. Fold. So get the piece I have you set aside out for just a moment. Measure 8 inches and cut. This is what you should have. Set this piece in your reserve. Now measure over 5 and 5 eighths and cut. This is what I cut off. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in what I call my reserve pile. So make sure this measures before we go any further. We're not gonna, ah, oh, I cut it wrong. We need it to be um, seven and seven eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. My sliver I cut off, I'm just gonna to toss that in my reserve. I do not glue this down yet. Once again, this is why you measure again at all times. There we go. Just going to push this aside for a moment. I want you to get out a new piece of cardstock and your dotted scalloped deep edge punch, EK punch. First of all, we're going to measure over two and three quarters on the portrait and cut. Go ahead and put this into your stockpile. Keep the skinnier piece, bring out your punch. It's very important that you start your punch in the same place this time. So right on this edge, okay, I am literally at where the punch silver part that shows the actual decoration is. So I'm punching right there, okay, punch right along the edge. I love this punch. 
It is so pretty. Be very careful to line it up. Okay, you got to make sure. Take a moment to make sure you are completely lined up all the way down. When you're done with this side, turn it over, line it up exactly the same. Okay? We are going to keep lining them up all the way across the other side. The first one. I did this one with you so you could see. Put this away. Sometimes I get little, sorry for that noise. I gotta get all the little pieces out of my punch. This is going to be a belly band and it is gonna be adorable. But we're not gonna glue it down yet, so. Get out your chipboard and I want you to pop out these three buttons and take out the little center pieces. I don't really think I'm gonna have a need for these little center pieces that I'm taking off, but you know what? Shelly always tells me to keep everything just in case, so I'm just gonna set these aside for a minute. So we're going to put these three buttons inside the circles and I just found some little string and I strung it through the circle. I'm going to do it to the other two, but I just found a little bit of string and then I uh, threw a piece of, whoops, <laughs> fumble, threw a little piece of score tape across the back of it. We're going to put these little buttons right in the center of these. Make sure you center them down. So I'm going to put the string in the rest of mine and I'll be right back. All right, so I got all my little pieces on. I'm just going to set these aside for a minute and you set this aside for just a moment as well. Okay, this is gonna go down the center with the three circles obviously dominant, and you wanna center it this way and this way. Make sure that you hold this tight, turn it over. If it moves, you have to start over. We're going to fold over, fold over, so it looks like that. And then we'll glue down. Make sure you put a nice amount of glue on there to get that down. And it's going to go through the holes and burn your little fingers, so welcome to my world. Got your little belly band. Isn't it cute? Now, I'm going to use my glue gun to put my buttons down. I'm going to put the red in the middle. Oops. I need to get my little... Now you don't have to because you can just hot glue these with them on there. A little hot glue. Place it right in the center. I saw them and all I could think about was how fun they would be. And when I saw these circles, I could not believe how perfect this was. Okay, so you can bring your piece that we folded earlier. Now, we are not going to, this is the other side, so it's gonna fold over this way. And this is the inside, so we're going to go ahead and put glue on the back of this. Put this on with the even amount of border and do not go over your fold. Score marks, okay, make sure it's all down, all the edges, and we'll start the other side. So in your reserve, I want you to get this piece out, and then in your stockpile, I want you to get this piece out. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I want, this is the other side of uh, this. It's gonna be a little bulky, so you're gonna have a little bit of bulge. I want you to take this piece and measure it so it's a sixteenth of an inch away from the top, and the left, take your pencil, and make a mark a sixteenth of an inch away right there and cut this off. Go ahead and put this in your reserve. We're going to put a little bit of black at the bottom of this to make it the same length. So I want you to measure so that this is the same width as the piece we just cut. So again, I'm going to make a little mark and now I'm going to shave this piece off. Put this over in your stockpile. Make sure this is the same width. So now we need to know how long it needs to be. So I want you to place this back on here, with the same 16th of an inch border at the top and the sides. Place this piece below, leaving the same borders. Place this one at the bottom, hold it tight. Place this one at the top, leaving all the same borders. And like I said, this is gonna be bulky. So that is going to go that's the line where they meet. See that? Set this aside for a moment. I'm gonna put some glue above the line I just drew. I'm extending this piece of decorative paper, but it's going to be covered in a pocket, so you're not gonna know it's black underneath. Line them back up exactly where they were. Triple check, double check, quadruple check. 
that this fits on here is if it was one solid piece. So this is like the back cover for this piece. Do not glue it down, just double check that it fits, and it does. Set these aside for a moment. Bring out your dotted scallops that we just used for our belly band. And this came out of my stockpile, and it is, dun dun, sorry, things are falling all over the place. Eight and a quarter by a little bit over five inches. You're going to punch along the long side using your pretty punch that you have. I think I can get two down the middle, so I'm going to start right on the edge like I did before. Okay, if I can find a way to keep them so that I have the same amount evenly, I will do so. Depends on how long your paper is, how that works. That worked out perfect. My alarm might go off, so I'm warning you now. Um, it's almost lunchtime here, and my tummy's telling me it is. All right, so we're going to get out our score tape. Put a little piece of score tape right along the bottom of the black we added to this page. Make sure it's down snug. Pull the backing off. Natural. I'm going to take the natural arc side. Evenly distribute your scallops across the top. Okay. Fold it over. Glue it down. Okay, so you need to get out a couple magnets. We're going to put one right here. Set the other one aside for a moment. I know, I glued it down. Hey, I'm just gonna glue a magnet right there. And just set the other one aside for a moment. Okay, so I need you to go into your reserve. Get out this piece of green. We are going to first measure it to fit. So I'm going to leave a 16th of an inch at the bottom and the left, and over here, measuring in a 16th of an inch, and I'm gonna slice this piece off. The larger piece I'm going to set aside, set into my reserve. So I want you to take this piece after we've measured it and go and get your scalloped scallop. I call it the redundant punch. And punch along the top of it. And we're going to place this right on top. Overlap that just like that. And glue this down. Be careful. You're going to be going over a couple of these holes, so don't put too much glue up here that goes through. In fact, um, let's get a piece of white paper. Just grab a piece of paper that will fit across the top of this. Doesn't matter what it is, I just got this from my garbage. Put your glue on the back of this. Sixteenth of an inch border, or left, right, and bottom. Put your cover. You set this aside. Do not um, glue it down on the back of that yet. Get out a new piece of, or I'm sorry, get out a piece of your cardstock from your stockpile. This one is four and a half by eight and a quarter. You're going to measure over six and a half and cut. Put the smaller piece in your stockpile. Before we score, we need to make our marks. I'd like you to take the sheet that we just put the green on and lay this piece that we took out of our um, stockpile and cut the side off of. I want you to take it and lay it right up against this side. See? Take over here where it, it ends. I want you to make a mark. Okay? So you're just measuring it straight across and that's, that's your first score. And then move three sixteenths away from that mark. So I'm going to take it off. And I want to make another mark at three sixteenths away from that. Put this aside. Still drying. Okay, so I'm lining up my score marks with a, any score line. Doesn't matter which one it is, I just want to score right on the marks I made. That one. And that one. Fold. Get this piece we just scored. Just pull it back out. And I want you to run your redundant scallop scallops all along the top. Now you don't have to go past the uh, score if you don't want to because it's just going to get folded over but uh, but I do want you to go all the way to the end and then we're going to flip it over and do the other side so I'm just going to stick it in there so I'm just going to stop right there because this is going to get folded under anyway as long as it's full as long as the scallops go all the way to the right end and all the way to the fold and then on the other side same way So like I said, you just want to make sure you go up to the fold. If you go a little over, this is just going to get folded under. Out of your uh, journaling and ephemera, ephemera cards, I want you to locate this one. It says, sisters are different flowers from the same garden. Okay, push all of your scores to the back. Lay this on top of here. So on this side, 
I'm going to be cutting right about there. And on this side, I'm going to be cutting about right about there. So let me check and see. Yep, a little bit of that yellow dress and a tiny bit of her sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to go cut those little pieces off on each side, and that'll fit right on here. Okay, this is what I cut off. And I'm going to double check one more time how this fits. Okay, just ignore this little thing that's popped up. It's the thing that goes in the back, so I'll just kind of try to keep it straight down. So that should fit in there with a small sixteenth of an inch border on the left and the right, and evenly distributed between your scallop scallops. All right, and we're glue that down. Now I can go ahead and throw these away. Make sure this is the same distance off of both sides and evenly at the top and the bottom so that your scallops are the same. All right, so we're gonna turn this over. So in your reserve, you should have this. And this is what we just cut off earlier from our other side. So now what I need you to do is line it up a six, six, sixteenth of an inch on the right-hand side. Don't go over your fold, okay? Stay away from there. And over here, I want you to measure and cut off a little slice so that you have a sixteenth of an inch border on this side. This is what I cut off. I'm going to put that in my tiny reserve. Make sure this fits. That measure twice thing. Okay. Don't put it down yet. Go locate this little card from your reserve. Sisters are different flower are different flowers from the same garden. So it, it's already cut along here and along here. So we're going to cut. See these little flowers how they go over the edge. All I'm going to do is right here where this little teeny flower goes down, I'm gonna cut right below it, okay? Be right back. This is what I cut off, tossing it in my tiny reserve. This is in your reserve, or your stock pile. I have this really bad habit, don't I? It's about four and a quarter by eight and a quarter-ish. Measure over six inches and cut. Put the small piece in your stock pile. So on the bottom of it lengthwise, the long ways, I want you to make a mark at three fifths or three eighths and one half. Three eighths and one half. And on the other side, five and a half and five and five eighths. Okay? Then we're going to turn it to the side. And you're going to make a mark at three and five eighths and three and three quarters. Let's get out our scoreboard. So, line up your score, your first little score. This is the bottom. I just turned it over so it's up against the scoreboard. Just line it up. Score on that one and score on the other one. Line these ones up with any score line. And they should be a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch apart. So, when you score the first one, you should be able to just move over and score the second one. Turn it sideways so that you have your other marks. Again, line them up to any scores that are... I think I'm driving crooked with my score, score board. Take your scissors. I want you to snip out this corner and you're gonna snip all the way to the outside left, right to where they meet, and the outside one here. Snip that corner out and do the same thing on the other side. Snip, snip, fold. So everything is all folded in. Okay, get your score tape out. And what I want you to do, I'll fold this out. Just to take your score tape. This is the folds or this direction. Just flip it over and push them out just so you can see what I'm doing. I want you to put a piece of score tape right along the top of the second fold. Do not go on the fold and don't go over the edges. If you do, you'll have to tear it off. I want you to go right along each to the right side of each of these folds on all three sides. So I'm just going right on, I'm just twisting it around, putting a piece of score tape like that. Okay, make sure your score tape's down nice and snug. So I'm going to have to cut off just a tiny bit across the top. So I want you to lay this card on here, fold everything under so you can see um, your edges. Make your borders even. I have more of an eighth of an inch borders this time than I do a sixteenth, just the way it got cut. So I'm going to have to slice off a little tiny bit of the top of this. And that's okay, because we didn't pull our score tape off. So I made a little mark where I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut. This is the top. I'm just going to cut right along that mark. 
I'll be right back. This is what I cut off. I'm just going to toss it in my reserve even though it has a little score tape on it and glue this on before we uh, make the pocket. So it's even inside there. Okay, now we can go ahead and take the score tape backing off. So just take the score tape off the right and the left, not the bottom. Go ahead and fold this in, keeping your spines flush. Take this bottom piece, bring it over, align it in this corner. Be careful. Try not to stick it on the other one before it's I'm ready. So align it in this corner and stick it on. Take this one, align it in this corner and stick it on. So you've made a little pocket, okay? But this piece has to be on the outside. Otherwise, every time you stick something in there, it'll catch on the corners. It won't go to the bottom. So we're ahead and take the bottom piece off. Get this out. And this is going to go. All right, so press it. Don't press it too hard or you'll squish your little spines. This is for Emily and Emily's clothes. So bring out the piece that has the friends on the one side, the sister thing. Folds over here. Do not go over them. Center this. It's going to be hard to, I'm going to kind of stick my fingers in here and press this all down. Okay, so I have Emily's clothes in here. So I'll show you what I did. I put a hanger on her clothes, just like they're hanging. And then inside the pocket, I hooked the outside of the little hanger right to the pocket and the matching hat is just going to tuck right up underneath of that hanger like that. With Emily, I put on her little nightgown since it was the longest piece. Put a little hanger on her. It's, the hanger part is on the back. It's holding down the uh, tabbies and I put her little nightcap on. And because this is going to be like this, I'm just going to tuck Emily inside of here and put this little hanger right like that. So she's going to be peeking over the edge. So go ahead and find your magnet friend. Tiny piece of tape on the back of it. Backing. We're going to have to put a little sticker like we usually do over the top of this, but I like using those little stickers anyway. So put this on here. It's not even from the top to the bottom, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Press. It's going to go right on the corner, right here. I'm going to set that there for a second. Get one of my little stickers. Get your little buggy sticker and place it right in the corner of the magnet. And then you're going to have to work your way around getting it down. So I'm just going to take the back of my craft knife, like I always do. Just a little help. And I'm trying not to squish my corner of my little pocket while I try to get it to go down on the corner. All right, so I got my little sticker. Find its magnet friend. I want you to push all of your uh, folds to the top. Now, it is going to find its magnet, so it's okay for a second. Just keep it straight with its magnet. Don't let it get crooked. And you can take it, turn it, pinch it, turn it over, glue it down. Push the spine back. Bring this piece back out that has your belly band. Okay, so it's facing hinge on the left. Turn it over. All of my folds are down. This is gonna go right on here with the 16th of an inch border all the way around. Glue this down. Make sure this is even. And it's gonna be kind of weird and bulky because of the back. Open it up. Make sure it's all down. Like I said, it's gonna be bulky and weird on the other side. Should close up and stay closed. Ta-da! Get this page out. Make sure that you put all of your folds forward. No folds on the back. Place this page right up against here. Make sure it's straight on the bottom and the top. So it should be flush both ways. Pinch, turn it over. Again, very bulky, glue it down. Sometimes these bulky pages are so awkward. Pull it, set back over, push your spine back. On your sticker sheet, I'd like you to locate this little 
Friends Forever round sticker. Put a magnet in the center of the back of it. I'm going to put it right here. Just using the back of my craft knife. See, just make sure it's down nice and snug. If you need to put a little extra glue under, you can. Got my little sticker right there. Take your other magnet, turn it over, find a mate. Stick a little score tape over the top of it. Turn it back over. Out of your chipboard, I would like for you to locate this. And this was in the center of it. So we're gonna keep that just as a, um, I'm sorry, a placeholder. And then in your reserve, you should have the other side of this that we cut our flowers out of earlier. Use this as our template, circle. I'm staying right inside all of this lettering, okay? I mean, not lettering, the little lines. I want the little lines to be in my circle. Okay. See that? Okay, so this circle is the same as the center of this. I'm going to be cutting about 3 sixteenths of an inch away from the circle to leave an extra, because we're gonna, it's gonna go behind this but I want to be able to put a little bit of a glue on this at the same time. So get your scissors out and just cut like 3 sixteenths of an inch away from the circle you made. Throw this in your reserve. You should have a small piece of cardstock in your stockpile that should fit perfectly on here. In your reserve, I want you to grab out this little piece that we cut off earlier and we are going to make our circle first, just trace it. We're gonna glue it down, but I just need, I need a tracing mark kind of where it's gonna be. All right, so I want you to just stick that right on there like that. So I've just, that little blue thing, is just gonna stick up like that. So I'm gonna glue this down. So I just glued it in my little temporary circle just like this. Then take this piece, put glue on the side that has the lines. Glue it right down onto your black, like that, and cut around. Do not cut your tab off. Just glue, or just cut around it. Don't cut off your tab. And it doesn't matter if it's straight, it's going inside that little chipboard piece. So it's just a backing to make it stable. So this is going to go kind of like that. And that little tab is gonna go like that. Little tab is gonna be so we can pull it out. So somebody can actually put a picture in here. It's gonna be like a picture frame, okay? Let me make my tab long enough. So I've got another piece in my reserve. Look at me. I think it's time to go home. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add this one. Extended it, putting another one on. Make sure it's glued down nice and snug. Sorry. See, this is what happens. There, that's better. Now you can get a hold of it. We want to make sure that we do not put glue where this is going to be. So I'm going to make a temporary circle with my piece that I just cut out. Made a circle on my cardboard. And second of all, I want you to okay, I want you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to be putting a little line right here and a little line right here, and I'm only going to be putting glue. This is the top. See? Turn it over. I'm only going to be putting glue right around there. To only put glue just along this edge right here. Okay. Hopefully this is going to work. And then they can just slide their picture. This is just a template. This is a picture template. Okay, so we've got that glued on. Got the placemate marker in there. And now we can go ahead and put score tape on the back and get it put in our album. Frame them on the outside. Do not squish it. So frame around the outside. Three straight down the middle. This is a heavy page. I'm going to score tape mine and I'll be right back. This is how I score tape mine. So frame three down the middle. Go ahead and make sure the tape's down nice and secure. Pull the backing off and get your album out. Be back in a minute. All right, so there's page three. I've got the score tape off the back, some white paper. 
This should go evenly all the way around. Be really careful that you don't lay it down before you're ready. I'm going to start on the left hand side, staying away from my fold. And drop it down, open it up, make sure that this is down nice and secure. That is page three. Pull the score tape off the back of Henny. I can find my craft knife. Okay, so you want Penny to be as even as possible with your page three. And also do not go over this fold. All right. There. So, ready for page four. So we're getting ready to start page four. Yes. This is what I want you to locate in your paper pad. It has plaid on one side, and on the other side it has the family. Go ahead and cut off the tab and throw it away. Now I want you to measure over five and three quarter inches and cut. Okay, this is what you should have. Go ahead and set this one aside. Take this page, turn it this way, measure eight inches and cut. This is what you should have. Go ahead and put this in your reserve. And this is the back of page four. So we're just going to set this aside for a moment. Get out a new piece of cardstock. I want you to measure over on the portrait six and an eighth and cut. So this is what you should have. Go ahead and put the smaller piece in your stockpile. Take this, measure over five inches and cut, and then take the second piece and measure over five inches and cut. So you went two five inch squares. I'll cut mine and be right back. So this is what you should have. These are both six and an eighth by five. So you got five and you got five. Take this little piece and stick it in your stockpile. Take two of your ephemera cards out. I've got Penny and then I've got uh, Emily and Mom. Take one of them, I just grab Penny, it doesn't really matter. Put it with even borders, top, left, and bottom and measure over the same amount and make a little mark right here. Okay, do the same thing on the second one. Set the card down, even borders, and I'm going to, once again, I'm gonna make a little mark. So now they both should have marks in the exact same spot, if you notice. And let's get out your scoreboard. Now I know this score is a, it's at the bottom, so it's okay, we're just gonna turn it over, match your score up with any line, okay, it doesn't matter what line it is, just match that score, that little pencil tag. Score down, then move to the left one eighth of an inch and score. Take the second one, I'm just gonna take the score line, put it against any score as long as it's on a line where I can score. Score down, Move one eighth of an inch to the left and score. Go ahead and fold, okay? My fold on this one is on the left hand side, down, right hand side down. Get your two ephemera cards. Mom is gonna go on this one and Penny is gonna go on this one. So go ahead and get your glue, okay? So I'm going to glue the back of this one, center it on there, do not go over your folds, and the same one with mom. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn these both over. Once again, make sure that the one with Penny is has the fold and the hinge on the right hand side. The one with mom, make sure your hinge is on the left hand side. In your reserve, you should have the piece that we just cut off from this last piece of paper. Take this piece, cut it in half. I measured over five and a half inches and cut that in half. Okay, so set these two aside for just a moment. Bring these two back down. In your reserve, I want you to locate this. And we're going to fit this on here and cut the extra off. So, just set this one aside for just a moment. I'm just gonna lay this down, get my borders even all the way around, my pencil and just make more red about there. Cut that little strip off and I'll be right back. This is what I cut off. I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment. This is the back of Penny. Put this with this and just set it there for a moment. Bring the other one down. In your reserve, you should have another piece. Looks like this. 
Now this one is actually going to be too short. So I just need you to take the little strip that we just cut off the other one and it's going to get covered with a pocket so don't worry about it. So measure this on here, okay? Your board is even on top, left and right. Take a little piece of glue and just put a tiny little row right along the bottom here. Take this piece that we just snipped off and I just want you to set it, extend the bottom of this. It's going to just barely be maybe a tiny bit too short, but like I said, all we're doing is extending this so we can put a pocket on, okay? Okay, and set that one aside. Get out your open scallop punch. Take the two pieces that we just cut and punch along the top of the long side of each of these. Bring these back down. Put the black pieces up top that have the backs on them. Take the two green pieces. Get your score tape out. Put score tape right at the bottom of both of them. Do not go over the edges. Make sure your score tape is on tight. Pull the backing off and we'll put our pockets on. Take your first one, give it a little bend, put it on there evenly. Okay, got that one on. Get this one on. Take them and fold them over, glue them down. In your reserve, you should find this piece. Looks like this on this side. We just cut it off of our top of our page. We're gonna measure these to fit on here. And it's just a little bit short. So I'm gonna take and measure the top with my border. Looks like I'm gonna have to cut a tiny little sliver just down this side here. So I'm gonna cut that first. This is what I cut off. I'm just gonna throw that away. Measure again. Okay, got my measurements. Now I just need to cut it off so it measures across the bottom. I'm gonna cut that piece. Be right back. That piece fits on there. Take the second piece. Should measure the same. Measure the bottom. Cut that piece off right there. Take this piece and put it in your reserve. Glue these down. In your reserve you should have a small piece of cardstock that looks like this. I took two stickers off my sticker sheet. This is just a little card that has some flowers on it with the green that kind of matches our card. And then one of them says apple of my eye. Corner, so I have less cutting to do. And then this one right at the bottom with the same kind of little black border. So take my scissors and I go ahead and just cut off, put this piece in my reserve for later. Go ahead and cut around each of these, leaving the same black border on all sides. I still have this little piece that came off of uh, the side of this and this. I'm just gonna put this in my stockpile. One never knows. Bring these down. Let's just set these aside for just a second. Bring these down. Now, this is Penny and this is Mom and Emily. Go ahead and get these glued down. Do not go over your Fold on the side, even borders all the way around. Same with this one, don't go over your folds. Even borders all the way around, okay. I'm gonna put the tag on the left one. This is Penny, the apple of my eye. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each end, okay? Just a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to center it right on here. Now I'll show you why. So I got one that has Penny on it one that has mom on it. They came right out of my uh, cardboard cutouts. Now, they haven't got this one glued down yet, so we are going to put, look at it this way, turn it over, put glue right here and right here. Okay, turn it over, put it in the left corner. I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of blue so that my black border shows. When this dries, you could actually put a little card back there, and you could also put a little card back here. See that? I am going to leave those there for now, and then later on I'll, I'll back them in black, which you already know because you've seen the album. Go ahead and set these aside with the back of page four. In your stockpile, you should have one last large piece of cardstock. 11 by five and three quarters. Measure over seven and a half inches and cut. Put the smaller piece in your stockpile. Let's get out your stitchable punch, deep edge punch, and punch along the top. 
to get out the back of page four. All right, so I want you to get another one of your ephemera cards out. This is the one that has the two stamps with the elephant and the horse postcard again. Just set it here for a second. We're going to put a piece of score tape along the bottom, bottom of page four. Don't go over the edges. Peel off the back of your score tape. Piece that you just pinched, put it evenly on there. Looks like you got about two and a half circles on each side. Fold it over. We're going to measure this fit across. And um, I know it doesn't fit this way, but don't worry about it. I just want you to cut off just a little bit of, on each side. It's about maybe an eighth, a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. Same amount off both sides so that this fits and has the same even borders on both sides, uh, left, right, and bottom. This is what I cut off, throwing that away. Do not glue this down yet. Out of your chipboard, I would like for you to go get this tab. Take the little hole out. In your reserve, you should have this. I just cut it off. I want you to just fit it to the back of this, including the hole, and glue it down. I have one of my Tim Holtz, well he calls them Tim Holtz Long Fasteners out. Make sure when you put this on that you have black in your entire hole on the back of this. You must have black right there in that hole. So in other words, you covered up the hole with a piece of black. We're gonna have to do things a little bit backwards. So what I want you to do is set your hinge piece and the piece we just cut, just set it aside. Go and get Mom and Penny. Pull all of your seams, all of your folds to the front. Place Penny on the left-hand side. Make sure she is flush with the top, pushed up against. Pinch, turn it over and glue it down. Turn it back over. Push the spine back so it's flush. Get the one with mom on it. Pull all of your folds to the front, none on the back. Press it up against the right hand side, flush with the bottom. Pinch, turn it over and glue it down. Turn it back over. Make sure that your hinge is flush on the side. Penny goes underneath, mom goes on top. Open it up. This piece is gonna go at the bottom. Just set it there with the borders even all the way around on the top, bottom, and left. Or left, right, and bottom. Close, hold, close, hold, okay? You need to see this bottom corner where these flowers are, which by the way, match these flowers. This is going to be a hinge. Go ahead and go get one of your little circles out of your chipboard pieces. It's really blurry, that looks like this. We're going to use it to build this up. So we're actually going to put a hole right through the center of this. But first of all, what I need you to do, while well, this is all pinched down, okay, I want this hinge to sit flush with this blue and flush with this blue. So now you need to take your pencil and put a little, whoops, take your pencil and since you can't put a, put a thing where the hole is because we haven't got the, put a line right across the top. Take your craft knife, do not put a huge hole. Get your Tim Holtz long fastener. Put a tiny little hole, just big enough to put the brad through. No, I could not remember the word brad. So just enough to put the brad through, okay? It's, like I said, it would fall through if we didn't have something back there. Now, this is gonna be the hard part. I'm gonna set this aside for just a second. All right, I need to put a hole right in the middle of this, just big enough to put my brad through. Do not cut yourself. So I'm kind of going on both sides. I've got a brand new blade, so I'm trying really hard to be very careful. It'd be easier if you had like an awl. I bead, so I have this really cool awl that is really pointy, and it would be perfect for this. So keep trying to put your brad through the hole. This is just going to be something that's going to help us to uh, level our hinge a little bit better. There. So it's right on the back. See that? Don't open it yet. So we need to put a hole where this is going to go. So let's go ahead and open this back up. I'm not sure if you can puncture this paper with this brad. But just remember, we have a line right there where we want this to go. So I'm trying to figure the best way to make a little puncture mark. Oh, it will go through. Ouch. Okay, it went through. <laughs> if 
punched it through. I'm going to go ahead and open up my bread. All right, so let's get this out of the way for a moment. Put my cutting board away. So I got my bread open. I'm going to get some tape on it. Just seems easier in the long run to always put a little piece of tape across it. So open this back up. Once again, we're going to do some testing. Turn your brad down. Close penny. Close mom. Pull your brad over. Turn your brad down. Turn it back up. Put glue on the back of this. I will take that score tape off the back of that. Place this at the bottom. Even borders all the way around. All right, so we have to deal with this little piece. On your sticker pad, you have these little flowers right here. Okay, you can see that. I need you to measure the top of this. So five and three quarters. So I'm going to take the end of the sticker. Make sure that's where it actually is coming off the sticker back. And go over here and make a little mark where it's going to get cut. Pull off to the mark right where I made my little mark. And this is going to go right across the top and fill in that void. Now it's going to go a little bit over this. And that's okay. I like that. See, this matches our scallops. Okay, so close this. Close Penny, close Mom, and put your tabby back up. Let's go ahead and put score tape on the back. We're going to put a frame, one down the middle and a short on each side, and put this in our album. This is how I put all my score tape. I'm going to take the backing off. Make sure it's down nice and snug. Pull all the backing off, and then get your album out. Okay, Just please excuse my little post-its. They're my way of... Uh, keeping track of things. So page four, this is going to go in page four. You're going to put it in so that you don't go over your fold over here. And you want to get it in there evenly, with the same borders all the way around. Pull your tabby down, make sure it's down nice and snug. Place penny down, mom down, and pull your tab back up. Close your album. Off to page five. So a couple things I'd like to add that I mistakenly forgot last time. On Emily's page, let's move page one over. And again, like I said, just ignore my little things. I took Emily's name that we cut out earlier and we kept it aside with moms. We're gonna be using moms. And I just put it on a tiny piece of that remnant cardstock that I had. It was one of those really odd shaped ones. And I, I just kind of, I fussy cut out a little bit of the the leaves and stuff. I think I want to put it right there. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back and I'm just going to pop Emily's name right next to the edge right there. Okay? And that way Emily kind of has her little name tag above her head. I want you to get out your half inch fancy flat back pearls. And I know I embellish sometimes late but I get really really worried that um, I'm sorry I, I can't talk and work at the same time. I get worried that something's going to be too thick or that it's not going to uh, close or something like that. So on this page, I'd like you to put a couple of flat back pearls in the corner down here. So I'm just going to glue those down. And they're just little cute little embellishments to add some little girly accents. So I just grabbed a couple of little flat back, fancy flat back pearls and put them there. And see when this closes? It's just a little a little embellishment. I'd like to put a little flat back fancy pearl on that. So I'm gonna put one right here and one right there. I think that's just gonna really make Penny's closet look adorable. So I'm gonna put two little flat back pearls. Okay, put those away. Got your three quarter inch flat Rochelle lace. I want you to measure a piece to fit right across the top of the back right front and glue it down. So just throw a piece of lace right up there and then we're going to throw some lace down right on both sides of Penny's closet. 
So cut yourself two pieces of lace to go down the closet. So we got a little piece of lace right here, piece of lace here, piece of lace here. The loops going like this. I'm going to grab one of my uh, Petaloo tea stained butterflies, and I'm going to glue one right, and I'm putting it right on the edge of that frame. Okay. And last but not least, that bow that's been following me around, I went ahead and glued it on the front of Penny's dress. Okay, so I think we've got our embellishments. Let's let those dry. On the butterfly that I added to page three, I went ahead and grabbed my um, shabby pink color box ink and my Heartfelt Creations stackable daubers and added a little bit of pink. I'll show you, I just grabbed a little bit of pink to this butterfly. Yeah. Okay, so it's time to get mom cut out and we are going to back her with black so and all of her clothes and hats. And also I wanna cut this one out. I'm gonna save that for last. And the little mother tag, we're gonna set that aside for right now too. So um, take mom's two hats, clothes and mom, get out a piece of new black cardstock and just go ahead and glue everything on. Oh, and uh, keep the tabs, please. So to give you an idea of how I pasted mine down, um, I just kind of puzzled in, and I know these things are overlapping, but this is gonna get cut out, so I just kind of puzzled it in to save myself some of this. This is gonna get used. We still have Dad and Billy and some friends to cut out, so if you have any leftover pieces of small cardstock, just put everything in your stockpile, okay? Start cutting. Okay, so this is the piece I had left. I'm just gonna stick it up in my stockpile for a moment. Um, I'm sure that I'm going to be using it because I still have some more to cut out. Um, so we got her two dresses with tabs, mom, and then her two hats. Do not forget that you need to cut along the little dotted line, otherwise it won't fit on her head. Next thing I need you to make sure you do is go and check all your edges to make sure that everything is glued down snug. Because sometimes when you place it on the uh, cardstock and then cut around it, you might not have glue all the way to the ends of your tabs or anything else. Okay, so I got all that taken care of. Nothing feels loose. Next, I'm going to get out my black memento, my little dauber, and lightly go along the edges to keep consistent black lines. Go ahead and ink up the sides of your two dresses, mom, and your two hats, and we'll be right back, okay? Let's go ahead and get out our scoreboard. Just score our little tabs like we did with um, Emily's clothes. We're right next to the clothing in the tab. So for right now, let's take mom and her dresses and her hats, and let's just clip them together. In your paper pad, I'd like for you to locate this piece. It's blue, has a really pretty pattern. On the other side, it has Dad and Billy. Go ahead, cut the tab off the top and throw it away. Now I'd like for you to measure over eight inches and cut. This is what you should have. Go ahead and put this piece in your reserve. Turn this piece this way. Measure over five and three quarter inches and cut. This is what you should have. Take the larger piece, measure over five and three quarters and cut. This is what you should have. Go ahead and put this up in your reserve pile. So the book that we're working on, our gatefold, is a little bit different than most books that we work on. So let me set this aside for just a second. When we open up, you'll notice that obviously this is one and this is three. So we're working in odd numbers. I want this to be the back of five and seven. So we are going to actually work on page five and then we're going to work on page seven. We're gonna work them out of order. Okay, so this is page five. Go ahead and set the back aside for a moment. And you can set it with mom because this is gonna be mom's page. I want you to get out a new piece of black cardstock. We're gonna measure over four inches and cut. This is what you should have. Put the larger piece up here in your stockpile. Take this piece, turn it this way, measure over nine inches and cut. This is what you should have. Take this piece and go ahead and put it in your stockpile. So before we can actually score, I keep forgetting about my 3 16 So we are going to measure over eight inches and make a mark, all right? And then you're gonna go 3 16 to the right of the eight. And that's where we're gonna make our second score. Put your scoreboard now. So we're scoring at eight and we're moving our score to the closest mark for our 3 16 and score that. 
I'm going to go ahead and fold. In your reserve, you should have a piece that looks like this. It's this on one side, this on the other. We're going to measure this to fit right on the front of this piece, leaving about a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. First, I'm going to measure over here, and then I'm going to turn here. I'm going to take off the large piece first, and then this strip. I'll be right back. The piece for here, so I took the top piece off first, and then the long side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in my reserve. Measure one more time to make sure this fits. Set this aside for a moment. In your ephemera cards, I'd like for you to go get this card. It says, first my mother, forever my friend. I'm gonna get this out from your reserve. So measure over three and three quarter inches and cut. Go ahead and put this back in your reserve. Now I want you to take the little card, leaving a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. Turn it this way, measure your sixteenth of an inch down here, and then cut that piece off the bottom. This is what you should have. Throw the small piece in your stockpile. Card back on, once again, leaving the same distance. On the right hand side, you're going to leave the same border that you have on the top left and bottom. And we're going to score, and then I'm going to have you move one eighth to the right. So let's get our scoreboard out. <coughs> Place that score against any line, just as long as you can make a score line. Move one eighth to the right and score again. Fold. Once you have it folded, double check one more time to make sure that your card fits on the front. Folds are all under the back. Go ahead and glue this down. In your reserve, you should find the blue piece that we cut off earlier. We're going to measure this to fit. I'm just going to be slicing off a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And then over here, I'm going to make my cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this long piece off first and then the little sliver across the top. I'll be right back. This is what I cut off. This I'm going to throw away. This is going to go back in my reserve. Do not glue it down yet. In your reserve, you should find a piece of cardstock that looks like this. It is four and a half by one and five eighths. You're going to get out your open scallop, punch across the top, get your score tape out, a piece of score tape at the bottom of this small blue piece. Make sure it's on tight and take off the backing of your score tape. Pocket a little bend. Make sure it's even. It looks like I have a one and a half scallops on each side. Bend it over and glue it down. In your stickers, I want you to locate this piece. Pull it out of the center of the little plaid. I'm going to place it right at the bottom, evenly with a sixteenth of an inch border. Okay. Go ahead and bring back the piece that we have the mother on uh, emblem on one side. This is going to go on here. So go ahead and get your glue out and glue this down, leaving the same border all the way around. Bring back the piece that has the cutout that we cut out for this. Bring all of your score seams forward, nothing on the back. Place this on the right hand side. Pinch, turn it over and glue it down. Turn it back over and push hard back so that your spine is flat. Take a moment and this is that weird piece that I cut the, all the mother pieces out. Remember I put them on black and I cut around them. I told you I had a weird piece. This is exactly where I kept it. I uh, fussy cut around the mother's name and I just glued it on here and now I'm just going to leave a small black border and go all the way around it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it cut out. I'm just going to set that there for a moment. We're going to glue this down on top of here so I've got all my folds underneath for right now. Put some glue on it, measure it around, make sure it has the same border all the way around, glue it on. Okay, I want you to go get your zots out. Just pull three or four of them out for, for a start. They're individual, so they're really cool. Just set these aside, we'll need them again in a couple minutes. Open this up, bring mom over. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn mom over with this outfit on her. Grab one of your zots. Now we can't do much with her head because of her hats. So take a zot, take one piece off, throw it away. I want you to put one zot right about there. Now this is her clothing, can you see? So I'm gonna take the clothing down. I haven't taken the backing off the zot yet because it makes it easier for you to see. Take zot two, the backing off, put a zot there. And zot three, take the backing off, and put a zot there. So we're straight down her body, one, two, three. Okay, we're going to pull the zot backing off. Do not set this down like this. You'll never get it back up. We're going to place mom, center her as best you can, right on there. Don't press too hard. Just want to make sure that the zots are adhered so you can see that. So now we can actually place mom's clothes. And it'll take a little finagling, but you could do it. You can place mom's clothes on her with her being zotted down. So you can still play paper dolls even with zots. I'm going to take one of my Tim Holtz hangers, clip it to your other hat and the other outfit together, put it right at the top like it's hanging. 
Okay, so we're going to need to put a magnet and I went and got one of these little stickers off my sticker sheet. It has a little flower that matches this. I'm going to set it aside for just a moment. Get a couple of magnets. Take one of them. I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the back of it and it's going to go right behind the corner of mom's dress. Um, if you don't put magnets on these little flaps and you start to shut your gatefold, it's going to get caught. I know that was me shutting my gatefold. So I'm just gonna take mom and I'm gonna slip this little magnet right behind the corner of her dress. See it right there? I just slipped it right in the corner. No one's even gonna know. Take the friend, find the friend. Okay, so that is gonna be really close to the edge, but I am gonna make it work. Take another tiny piece of score tape right for the top of the friend. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. Take the backing off, take the backing off. Take your little fold over, press. Take your little sticker and put it right there on the corner. Press it down like I have all the other times. I'm going to put mom's clothes back on her. That's not going to hurt that magnet any. However, it might make it less potent. Okay, so I'm going to take my little mother some glue on the back. Do not glue it onto the top of mom's head. Slip it back there. Okay, there you go. So we're going to take this piece and turn it over. Hinge at the bottom. In your reserve, you should find another piece of this glue. On the back, it looks like dad's suit. Actually, it is dad's suit. We're just going to measure this to fit on here. Do not go over your hinges at the bottom, your hinge folds. Cut my piece here. And I'm only going to be cutting off maybe an eighth of an inch on the right. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the large piece at the top first and then the long side piece. This is what I cut off. I'm going to go ahead and put those in my reserve and do not glue it down. Okay, so we're just going to set that aside for a minute with that blue piece. Get out a piece of your cardstock. This one is five and three quarters by three and a half. This is your stitchable deep edge punch. Go ahead and punch it across the long side. Bring out your blue piece. Get your score tape out. Score tape along the bottom. Make sure it's down tight and pull off the backing. Give it a little bend. Make sure it's on evenly. Fold it over and glue it down. In your pad, I want you to find this piece. It has all of these little lines and on the back it has paper dolls. I want you to cut out from the top of the sunflowers here down to the bottom of the blue line. So this little piece it goes down below the blue line. So you're going to cut this strip right here out. I'll cut mine and be right back. So this is what I cut out. Put these two back in your reserve. We're going to be taking this blue one out. So now I want you to cut between the little boy and the little girl clothing and take this piece with the flowers out. This is what I have. Go ahead and put these back in your reserve pile. Bring this back over. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. In your reserve, you should have a piece that looks like this. On the other side, it has horse feet. <laughs> Those are horse hooves. So we're gonna take this piece and we're actually going to measure it to fit down both sides and trim it with the paper that's on the background. Put a piece of paper in here because if you don't, you're going to probably get some glue on the background and you don't want to do that. So take this piece, glue on it, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch, measure it to the center on both sides, place it down. There's holes here, so you're going to get glue through the holes. That's why the piece of paper. Take this piece, measure it, so that it goes straight to the top to the bottom. Let's mesh with the bottom. Use your scissors or your paper cutter, whichever you prefer. Double check that it fits. Move your paper over, something under your holes. Place this down. Should be the same border on the right. Take the second piece, measure it, top and bottom, cut mark. Putting this in my reserve and it matches and it makes great little border. We're gonna let that dry for a second, come back. So out of the uh, flowers that were cut off the backgrounds from mom and uh, Emily, there were some flowers like this. I went ahead and I just fussy cut one of them out. So I've had a little bit of glue, turn it over, and right here where the seam is, I'm going to have this flower going to go right up like that. Let's bring back our piece of fold over that has mom on one side, flip it over with the hinge at the bottom, put glue on the back of your pocket, Turn it over and put it on evenly all the way around. Do not go over the hinge at the bottom at all. Now, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave mom's clothes on her on the front. I'm gonna take the clothes that I put on the back. It's got the green 
suit with the hat is right here under the hanger. And since this is gonna flop up, I'll just leave it on its hanger and put it in the pocket for now. We're now at the back of page five. So we just set mom aside for a moment with her little hinged piece. I want you to get out a new piece of cardstock and we're going to turn it this way. I want you to measure over five inches and cut. This is what you should have. Put this in your reserve, or in your stockpile. Get out your stitchable deep edge punch. Punch along the long side. All right, so we're going to put a piece of score tape at the bottom. Same thing we do with every other pocket. Put it on tight, take off the backing. Give it a little three and a half circles on each side. Turn it over. In your reserve, I want you to locate this plaid piece on the other side. It, excuse me. On the other side, it looks like this. We're going to take it and uh, measure it only on this side. So I'll get your sixteenth of an inch border at the bottom, and on the left, take it over here, measure off, slice off this little piece right here. This is what I cut off. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my my itty bitty reserve. I want you to get out your scalloped scallops. Punch across the top. I want you to locate this little chipboard piece that has the same flowers that we used on the back of here. And we need to do some measuring. So I have a brad through there already. Put mom right on there with all of the folds to the back. Push her right up against the right hand side. Make sure she's flush with the bottom. And just draw a little line right along this edge. It's a temporary line. See it? Because of all the magnets, I'm doing the best I can to use my chipboard hinges and saving us on all the magnets. This is gonna hold mom down. Let's put her on now, make it easier, okay? Then we don't have to guess. So, do not glue this piece down. Take mom, take the clothes out for a minute. Flush to the top with all the hinges forward. Pinch, turn it over, glue it down, turn it back over, push it up so your spine is flat. Place this piece temporarily with the borders even all the way around. So that line should still match up that we made a minute ago. Take this piece, set it so that it's as far down in the corner as you can get it evenly, but it is also holding down a corner of mom. Make a little circle where your brad hole needs to be. Lift mom up, close over here. Take this piece, put your brad back in the hole. Punch a little hole where you need your brad to go through. So I'm making a little hole, big enough for my brad to go through. We've been doing this so you guys should know what you're doing. Go ahead and fold your brad back. I'm going to put a little bit of score tape on the back of my brad to keep it. Go ahead and erase my pencil marks. Now we can put glue on the back of this. Down, even borders all the way around. This piece of clothing with this hat, once we place this down here like this, it still may want to fall out. So we're going to have to attach it. I'm going to take the hanger, pull the tabs up, take the hat, attach it like that. It's just the little hats on the outside and the, the little outfits on the inside of the pocket. You can still put a mat in there. Bring it down, twist over your holder. There you go. All right, I took another one of those little flowers. I had two of them. I showed you the other one earlier. And I'm gonna place it right up here in this corner. Turn it over, score tape on. I'll be right back. This is how I score taped it. This is a little bit heavier because of the outer piece. So I went ahead and put three longs. Make sure they're down snug. Take the backing off the score tape and we'll put it in our album and get your album out. All right, we got page five out. Mom is on page five, push it down. Now while it's open, I totally forgot about something. I wanted to put this little row of flowers on the bottom of this. So this is in your reserve. All I want is for you to measure, measure all the way across the bottom of this plaid piece. So cut off to the blue, right up against these, cut to the blue, and then cut this little piece off that measures. I'll be right back. This is what I cut. These are gonna go back in my reserve Remeasure to make sure this fits, and it does. I'm gonna get my glue, and I kept the little blue along the bottom because that will match the back of the page. Okay, so we got uh, six in. Now you understand why I wanna go to seven, because when you're looking at the scenario, seven is the next page, even though six is behind five, obviously. I'm gonna move on to seven. All right, well, you probably know what's next. Let's go ahead and cut around all these pieces, try to save, um, 
these squares if you can. In this case, we can probably save this one, um, but cut around all of them, and we're going to take Dad, his two hats, his suit, and this suitcase first, and get it ready for Dad's page. And we are going to do the same with Dad as we did with Mom. We are going to zot him on the back of a, on the front of a page. So you want to make sure you keep his tabbies and keep the little thing that says Father as carefully as you can. We are going to be doing Billy. So it's up to you, but this is all going to be the same way. I'm going to go ahead and cut around these pieces and put them in a paper clip for when it's time to do Billy's page. Make sense? Oh, and I want the camera to go with Dad, too. All right, so there's all Billy's parts. Just put all these together with the horse. He's going to have his little dog. Go ahead and clip those together for later. Set them aside. Let's see if we got a piece of cardstock that'll fit. I'm going to glue these down, get them cut out, get ready for Dad's page. Dad's page is going to match Mom's almost, not exactly, but very similar. So that's why we're going to do it while it's fresh in our mind. Okay, I'm going to get a little, I'm going to get one of my little Tim Holtz hangers for my hats for just a moment. I'm going to put those together with Dad. And then I'm going to clip these little camera and the handbag together. Let's get out your scoreboard and score the edges of your little tags. Set all of Dad's things aside. Get out a new piece of cardstock. You're going to measure over four inches and cut. This is what you should have. Put the larger piece in your reserve. Take this piece, measure over nine inches and cut. This is what you should have. Put the small piece in your stock. Measure first, just like last time. So this is going to be the length of our page. This is our back, so it should be eight inches. So I'm measuring right at the bottom of my page. Set it aside, and then measuring over 3 16 of an inch. So this is eight inches, and that's 3 16 from the eight inches. So that's eight and 3 16. Get out your scoreboard. Measure it up with any score line. Fold, so have your hinges and everything folded down. In your reserve, you should have this piece. Let's start with this one because it is exactly, sorry, it is exactly the same length. Put the little thicker one away. We're going to match up our plaids and then we're going to cut. Move it in. I'm just going to line, I'm lining up the bottom. Make sure that your left one is aligned 16th of an inch away from the left, top and bottom. I want you to make pencil marks. So this is where it's going to be cut off across the top. So I put a pencil mark right there. This is where it's going to line up in the middle. And this is where it's going to get cut off over here. So this part is going to get cut. So I'm going to start with this right here. Got it? And then I'll cut this long skinny piece off. So this is going in reserve. This is going in reserve. I know this is going to overlap, but it's not going to overlap by much. So double check one more time that everything matches up that your borders are all the same, that the top and bottom match. So I'm going to start by adhering them center of the piece. So I'm going to just put some glue to the left side of the pencil mark, line up my pencil mark, which is going to line up my pattern, come back to my paper, make sure that it's even all the way around. Looking good, don't go over your seam at the bottom. Do not glue this down. Had you set aside a father, a treasure, a brother's comfort, a friend is both. I want you to cut right up against this blue, cut off the cream, and come right back. This is what I cut off, and little teeny pieces I'm not going to keep. The smaller ones, or the larger ones, I'm going to throw in my smaller stock pile or reserve pile. Let's get this piece out. This is the one we just set in there. Take this piece this way, measure over four inches, and cut. Put your larger piece up here in your stock pile. Take your little card that we just cut out, put it flush in that where put it with a sixteenth of an inch border on the left and the top. Turn it, measure your sixteenth of an inch border on the bottom, and cut that little strip off. Be right back. This is what you should have cut off. Throw that away. Measure once again to make sure that you have the same border on the top left and bottom. Take your pencil, measure over the same border distance from here to here as you have all the way the rest of the way around. Get out your scoreboard. Go ahead and line your score up. Well, mine seems to be lined up very close to three and a quarter, but make sure that it's lined up right against any score line. Score straight down, move over one eighth of an inch, and score again. Pull the lines down. This time your hinge is going to be on the left. Make sure all of your folds are under. Take the card that we just measured and glue it down evenly all the way around. In your reserve, I want you to locate this long piece on the back, it looks like this. 
and then you should have another little short piece. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing we just did for the other piece. We're just gonna put them together and fill the back of this. So first of all, left and bottom have the same border and trim off this piece first. So I'm gonna go cut off this big piece first. Take the big piece that you just cut off, put it up in your reserve, lay this little piece back down, take the little strip, find its matching side. Do not go over the edge, over here where your folds are. You see that? So I found my matches. I'm gonna make a little pencil mark there, there. So I'm gonna go cut those two little pieces off. This is what I cut off. This is what I kept. Double check that it fits. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece down on the left-hand side first. Do not go over your fold. This should match up. Make sure you put it on the right side again, that they match up. Matched up my patterns. Go ahead on your sticker pad and go get this little tag that has the little dad on it. And I'm gonna go into my stockpile and find a piece of cardstock I can put a black border around it. I found this piece I cut my circle out of, like that. Go ahead and cut around it, leaving a small black border. I'm just gonna throw this part away. The piece we just put the black on the back of, I just want you to get your glue. Take it this way, turn it over, glue down the left-hand side and right along the bottom, just like that. Take it and place it in the bottom right corner, leaving about a sixteenth of an inch of the color showing, okay. Go ahead and get the backing out that we put together, the two pieces. Take your card that we just made, put all of the hinges to the front, nothing on the back. This is going on the left hand side, flush with the bottom. Put it on, pinch it, turn it over and glue it down. Turn it back over and push the hinge back so that your spine is flush. Bring over your piece that we made with the hinge at the bottom, put all of the folds to the back, glue this down. You need your zots, three zots, and dad. Place this down evenly all the way around. Do not go over your folds. Open up your little piece here. We are going to have to put a magnet on it, but we gotta wait till we get dad in there. So you might as well get out a magnet. We'll put a little sticker on the other side, just like we did before, so that it matches. Get two magnets. Okay, so I've got my magnet set aside. I've got my little father thing that I'm gonna use. There's my three zots. Let's put the zots on the back of dad. So I'm gonna get my zots, take the back off of one of them. I'm gonna put one zot right there in the middle of his chest, one zot in his lower back, one zot on his thigh, and I think I'll get another zot and put it on his other thigh. They're kind of more at his knees. Let's get all the zot backs off. Bring this over. Center dad, he's pretty tall. He's gonna just barely fit. Press, 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 press. Get one half of your magnet, place it this direction. It looks like we're gonna go right at the top of his boot. So just stick it under there with the tape up. If it helps, get your craft knife. Let it stick to it, let it magnify itself. Magn what do you say, magnify itself to it? Press, press, okay. There, should have a magnet sitting right under his leg. Get the other half, place it on top. Get another itty bitty piece of score tape. Place it on there, take the backing off. Press, bring it back over on your sticker pad. You should have this little sticker that has a little sailor suit. So cute. Pressing it right there. Now I have noticed that on some of these little stickers, I have had to um, put a little bit of glue under the edges. So if these pop up on you and you can't get them to stay down, you just grab your glue and put a little bit of glue underneath of them. Now that will stay closed on dad. I got a little piece out of my stockpile. So I'm going to take this little father thing and I'm gonna glue it as close to the left or the right and the top, leave a little sixteenth of an inch border and then cut around leaving another little black border. So I got that on there like that. Okay, so I got my little, I'm gonna put this little piece in my back in my stock pile. Bring dad back, put a little glue on the back, put it on the right hand side, leaving a tiny little border of color. So this would be in your reserve. This is a piece of plaid. I got this on the other side. And this is a piece that we've been cutting stuff out of. We need to measure this so that it is the right length with the same border all the way around. So let's get this out. Sixteenth of an inch from the fold up here, sixteenth of an inch from the side. I'm going to take my pencil, mark a sixteenth of an inch this much from there to my fingertip. That's what I cut off. I'm throwing that away. We should be able to cut this to fit. We're going to add black and then put a pocket. I'm going to measure over three and seven eighths and make a mark. Let's 
my three and seven eighths. I'm just going to cut right along there and take that stuff off. This weird piece is again going to be something good to back stuff with when we have small stuff. But this piece to the bottom, turn it, mark right along the top of this. Sorry. Flinging things everywhere. See, this back stuff doesn't matter because this is going to go right over the top of it, okay? We're just going to extend it. So now I'm going to cut this little piece off right there. This is what I cut off. So now this is the important part. I'm going to set this here so that it is even. And I'm going to go ahead and put this black piece right over the top of it so you can see it. This black piece happens to be exactly the same length as what I need. But I don't need to waste all of the stuff Make another mark. So I am one and three eighths from this end. Now I'm going to cut right along that line. This is the piece that's going to be added. This is going to go back into my stockpile for additional usage. One more time. Measure this. Looking good. So make sure borders all the way around match. Made a little line down the side. So you can see my little line. Set this aside. Get your glue out. Put glue on the left hand side, the skinny edge of the line. Put this right up against the line. Make sure it's even on the top and the bottom. You'll need to get a new piece of cardstock. I want you to have the black on this side. Your new piece of cardstock, I want you to measure over two inches and cut. Go ahead and put this larger piece in your stockpile. Take this this way. Measure over nine and a quarter and cut. Put this small piece in your stockpile. Get out your scalloped scallop. We're gonna go all the way down the long side. Get out the piece that we just added the black to. Get your score tape. And I want you to put score tape right along the bottom of the additional black cardstock that we put on it. Do not go over the edges. Make sure it's down snug. Pull off the backing. Get your pocket, give it a little tuggy. Okay. Turn it over, fold it down and glue it. In your paper pad, I want you to locate this. This is exactly the same thing we've been using. It's got Dad and Billy on the other side. Go ahead and tear off the, uh, cut off your tab and throw it away. This is what you should have. Get your piece here. We're going to cover it. I want you to go to the far right side, bottom. Take this far right corner, put it right on the edge, leaving about this much of your scallop, scalloped. Take your pencil. Measure so that you have your border in the back. I've got about a little about a sixteenth of an inch border. I'm going to make my little mark. Bring it this way. Make sure you have your border at the bottom. Cut. Make a little mark at the top. I'm going to cut all of this. I'm going to cut the whole strip this way first, and then cut that off. So go cut this strip here first. This is what you should have. Now I'm going to go find my other little mark at the top up here and slice that piece off. Put this larger piece up in your reserve. Put this smaller piece up in your reserve. Recheck to make sure that your everything's even. Glue on the back of this. Glue it down with even borders all the way around. Bring out Dad. Turn him over. Hinge on the top. This piece is going to go right on here. Fold on the, I mean, uh, open pocket on the left here. So blue to the left. Patchwork to the right, do not go over your fold. Put it on there evenly. It's going to be a little bulky because Dad's on the back. 